In this lesson, we'll cover how to adjust the lip sync settings in your AVR or AVP after integrating the MV into your system. The MV adds about 220 milliseconds of latency, which is consistent across all input resolutions, frame rates, and signal types. To ensure your audio and video remain perfectly in sync, you'll need to account for this latency. If your AVR supports auto lip sync, such as Platinum Certified for NV AVRs, this is your easiest option. Simply enable auto lip sync in your AVR following the instructions provided by the manufacturer. Even with auto lip sync, you might find that some minor fine tuning is needed. If so, your AVR should have an option to allow you to enter an offset to the auto lip sync setting, either globally or on a per input basis. If not, you can fine tune the lip sync using the options in the HDMI configuration menu. However, this MV setting only applies if you're using auto lip sync, otherwise it will have no effect. At any rate, for the best results, we recommend making the adjustments in the AVR and not in the MV menu. If your AVR doesn't support auto lip sync, you'll need to set the lip sync manually through some experimentation. Start by entering a lip sync delay of about 200 milliseconds in your AVR. Then adjust this delay while using a lip sync test pattern such as from Spears and Munsell or using a scene from a movie. A great scene for this is the last song in A Star Is Born. Note that although the Envy's latency is consistent, certain source devices might require setting a slightly different delay as a one-time adjustment. In that case, use the function in your AVR to override the lip sync setting for that source's input. For more information and guidance on setting up the auto lip sync, refer to the adjusting lip sync guide on madvrnv.com. Okay. Now that we've covered how to adjust your lip sync settings after integrating the Envy, it's time to move on to our next lesson.